Ultra Beast 10 pack booster is here, but should you invest? What's good? It's your boy Rico. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Duel. And guess what, guys? The Ultra Beast Booster 10 pack is here, like you heard earlier. And the question is, should you invest? Should you get these boosters? Because it is like your last chance to get it. You have a 15% chance of getting the EX or UX. And they're at Chained 1. Now, before we get into that, there's something we need to discuss. Ultra Beasts. The Dex. Kind of OP, man. Celestelia is probably the most broken figure in this game. The most broken. Here's what I foresee, though. Psychic Dex kind of got a buff. Back when we had Oracorio, and they were just like a beast. Then what? Then we got the Electric buffs. We got Coco. So Electric Dex, plus with the Zerka Tree, plus the, uh, I didn't, what's his name? Raikou get a buff. Electric decks be kind of kind of became a thing, and now fire decks are kind of a thing. So this is what I foresee. I see this as a cash grab for the company. What I think they're doing is they are going to do this booster pack and have everybody spend money, get gems, try and get Ultra Beast, and then what? Next banner. I don't want to say they're going to be irrelevant, but I'm going to. Th I'm going to. This is just a guess. I think the Ultra Beast decks are going to have more counters. Because let's face it, they're, it's too meta right now. And I foresee a meta shift. So the question is, should you invest or should you not invest? I don't know. It's kind of up to you. For me personally, I'm not going to do it. And the reason being, I'm just I'm not really into Ultra Beast decks. Like, nothing against them. They're super good. They're, they're I mean, and sorry, Giggs, I don't want to call you out for this. I watched a match with Giggs, okay? He was playing he was playing an Ultra Beast player. Good player, like 3.9. Uh, Giggs had the counters. He had Terrakion. He had Shiny Ray. And Giggs got absolutely destroyed in like five moves. Absolutely destroyed in five moves. And he had both Shiny Ray and Terrakion on the board. And they just got destroyed because the user was really good at using the Ultra Beast decks. And guess what? I just went and looked and featured... And Giggs is in featured. And guess what he's rocking? He's got Ultra Beast in his deck now. So, but for me, like I said, I kind of like to go against the grain. I kind of want to just use other decks. I don't want to be fixated on one deck. So me personally, I am not going to be opening any boosters regarding the 10-pack. But we are going to be opening up a bunch of boosters because there's a lot of single boosters that I have. I think I have maybe like 10. I'm not sure because we have a lot of those pink ones left. And we have these two, uh, blue and the rainbow. So we're going to start there. We'll start with this blue one. Are you guys excited for the Queen's Cup? Man, I thought we were going to get the Queen's Cup. Ooh, a rare? I thought we were going to get the Queen's Cup today. I'm looking for something different. I want something, you know. I don't want to be grinding League anymore, even though at the end of the... Yeah, we still have a few more days. A couple... I got another week for the end of the month. All right, so... You guys know what I want, right? Starts with the M. Rainbow? Nope, not a rainbow. Munchlax! Maybe we can start using that Tarble deck with the, the Flame Energy deck, right? All right, let's go into the boosters. I mean, the gym cell or the shop, the boost or the gem cell is here. Uh, so you guys know I'm definitely going to partake in that once we get the new banner coming out. But let's, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, we're going to go open up these single boosters. And hopefully we can get something good from them. Uh, I heard a lot of stories. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. Have you guys pulled anything good? Did you guys get the desired Ultra Beast that you want? I've actually heard people saying... I have seen on Twitter, people have been telling me in Discord, they are not getting good pulls whatsoever. So that is why, I mean, first of all, I don't even have 500 gems. And second of all, I'm not going to spend money on the sale because of what I am predicting. Ultra Beasts are going to be getting buff, not buff, nerfed, but countered. They will be getting countered. So, wait, where am I going? Oh, yeah, so we have six of these. And then do we just get two more today? And I think I have a couple from, I don't know when. But we're going to open up these and see if we can get something good out of them. So, here we go. And I also want to explain. I want to give you guys a helpful tip 
at the end of these booster, booster openings. Here we go. No. Okay, it's just a uncommon. And actually, a, a helpful tip for you rush people. People who run rush decks. Here we go. Booster. Oh, I can't click again, but booster seems to not do it. Almost have 5k material, so we can buy a UX here pretty soon. We'll wait for the next banner. We'll see if we get anything good. And again, we get an uncommon, and it is a Toga de Maru. Kind of upsetting. All right, here we go. This is the third one, please. Okay, there we go. Show me Rainbow now. Let's go. It's not Rainbow, but maybe it's an EX. It's a Ho-Oh. Wow, okay. So we did pull an EX. Ho-Oh is kind of, I don't want to say he's not OP, but he's really, really relevant. He's top five figures if you watch Pokefodder's video. And you guys have watched Kenny's video and see how well he uses Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh is a good figure. I don't really want one, though. I just don't use Fire decks that much. All right, show me those gold pretty lights again. Can we please get something that's not un uncommon? <sighs> Scyther. Scyther's kind of cool. I wish Pinsir was better because I think Pinsir's cool. I can't wait till we get Mega Pinsir. Mega Heracross. Her Heracross should be a, like a great figure, and he is not. He, he should be a great figure. Okay, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, guys. Here we go. I'm feeling good. We got starting off with the blue, and we're in. Okay, and that's what we're Durant. I can't help but think of like Kevin Durant. Every time I see that figure, I'm like, oh, Kevin Durant. No, just, just an ant, man. Just an ant. Come on, please. Twenty three. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ugh, I didn't show Rainbow. A Steelix. Okay. Now I think we still have like, oh wow, we've got six. All right, let, let's go. We got twelve. I think it's good to get these singles out of the way. That way, when the new banner comes out, because I usually hit the singles first, and I'm usually at like twenty singles, and that takes forever. It's never anything good. And we know, I know exactly what we want. We want to get straight to those ten packs. So let's not. Ooh. Okay. Here. Oh. Okay, Moltres, Moltres, not bad, not bad. No, actually, it's kind of bad. I don't want Moltres. But that's two EX. Wow, two EX pulls. What, Aries? Did you guys hear my uh, cat meowing? Aries. Did you hear that? Show me those beautiful gold lights again. Okay, we're nope. All right, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. Speaking of Kevin Durant, you think they're going to go for a three-peat? Think they're going to tie my boys, the Lakers? I don't think so. Ah, all right. Okay, another uncommon. Another Togo de Maru. Why am I getting Togo de Maru? Three more boys and girls. Three more. And we are at 5k material. Okay, alright, two more guys. Two more and another steal. Why am I getting double figures? What is this garbage? Show me something new. Show me a man if you please. Alright. Uno more. Another joke. What? What the? I'm getting duplicates. Do. Watch me pull another EX. Watch it be another Ho Oh or a Moltres. That would be interesting. All right, last one. Last one. In three, two, one. Come on. Okay. Now, I told you guys I wanted to give you a helpful hint. And this goes for all of you Rush Deck users, okay? 
um, I want to show you something. And this actually comes from DN007. I've seen him twice in feature today, and I watched him play, and I was thoroughly impressed by the moves he made. He has the uh, he has a rush deck. So uh, give me one second. I'm actually gonna change gears. I'm gonna actually open up my other account, and I'm gonna play a duel. And I just want to show you um, some like a helpful hint if you go second. Okay. So give me one second. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back, and like I said, this is a helpful hint for you, those of you who are running the rush deck. If you are going second, and if the opponent goes up the right side, which most people tend to do anyway. Okay, so let me just move up to the right uh, with Coco. Boom, just like that. And then what you want to do is you want to rush the goal with uh, DOA. Now, I mean, it depends on how the player, who the player, how the player plays, but most people. They're going to be defensive. They're not going to take the risk. I mean, some people might DC with either Terrakion or Lunala. Pro preferably Lunala because they can't switch. But then again, if DOA or DO at speed hits the dodge, that's GG boys. If he hits the gold and you hit your purple, that's GG boys. So what most people are typically going to do is they're going to bring their Coco or whatever mod that they brought out onto the gold to defend. So we're going to do that. And then next, what tip, what rush deck users typically do, they either take the entry point with Dio Speed, or they bring out something over here like Coco, or just something to threaten to take the goal the following turn. But most people, including myself, I just take the entry point, the opponent moves on another Mon, I move on Gengar, they move on another Mon, I take the entry point, and they're stuck because they're next to me, so hopefully... The opponent has a long throw to prevent them but instead what you would do here is you bring out your mega gengar and you put them right behind the deal speed kind of confuses the opponent the opponent's like uh what why, why would you do that so then you, if you have a mega say you have mega gengar you just bring your gengar on right well, actually it'd be bad if you had mega gengar let's pretend like he didn't have mega gengar. let's just bring out like, we'll just bring zapdos on okay so now what you want to do the next turn is you're going to Mega Gengar. And you're going to take the entry point. And it's going to confuse the opponent again. They're going to be like, wait, what are you doing? Are you attacking my Zapdos? I don't understand what you're doing. And what you do is you take the entry point. And the opponent is a little confused. They're like, um, okay. But, I mean, if, if they did have a 3 MP figure, they're most likely going to take the entry point. And then you can be in some sort of trouble. But, I mean, then you can also, depending on what figures you have, you can go block, you, you know, whatever. So let's just say this opponent, like, they just move up. Which, in most cases, people are going to play defense. They're going to they're gonna be defensive. They're going to be near the goal. So then what you want to do here is you bring out my old favorite plate that I miss a lot, that I have not ran in a long time. What you do here is you pull the swap spot. You swap the Gengar with the Dio speed, and then you attack the Coco from this side. I mean, and obviously, RNG is RNG, just like that would happen. But if you win that roll, the opponent has no option now. That is pretty much GG, boys, because they're going to have to goal block the following turn. And if they goal block, then you just bring your Dio speed over and you go for the surround. I When I watched D00... And 007 do that multiple times. I was like, wow, that is such a great strategy. And if he goes first, and please uh, disregard my deck, like the rush deck, rush deck users, they wouldn't have Combuskin, they wouldn't have Luna Light. It was just too lazy to change it. Uh, he, what he actually has is he has the um, the Rotom, and he's got the Heat Rotom, and he has the Microwave Oven. So if he goes first, he moves Rotom right here. Opponent, you know, plays a little defensive or whatever. He then moves Rotom here, right on the goal. So then the opponent has to cover the goal. And then he will microwave. So that turns everything fire. He attacks the goal the following turn, which they are now fire types. They are down negative 30. D, N, 007, if you are subscribed to me, if you watch this, man, you, you are really, really good at your rush decks and I commend you but I hope you guys found this tip somewhat useful those of you who are using the rush deck and I hope you put that in your uh, in your bag you know the the swap spot because 
I don't use swap dot anymore. And maybe I should when I'm running a rush deck. But we're going to cut it then. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, peace.